Hey guys, Cleo 81. Today we are, uh, well, Merry Christmas. It is the Christmas episode, I guess. Yeah. I'm not wearing the hat. <laughs> it's my husband in the background. Um, today we are going to actually be changing this out. I decided I don't like this. So we're going to be putting the other one in. Um, it is going to be sacrificing this fan, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Don't unscrew that yet. Um, all right, so to start, we're actually going to pull this little guy out. This is the cable for the fan. <sighs> okay. He's in there pretty stiff, but you should just be able to give him a little jiggle. Out he goes. Do not get my face in that shot. All right. And that's it. Fan is free and clear. Sitting. I'll figure out what to do with this at a later date because this thing is really cool. Okay, moving on. Now we gotta get this. Oh boy. This is gonna be kind of a pain. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have to pull out everything we've done up to this point. Pull out the graphics card, pull out the motherboard. Blah. So, Alright, so we are going to be changing this out. I don't like it. Uh, we're going to be putting the other one in. So what we're going to do is we are going to unscrew this from the back. Whee. There we go. It's just the four screws, the same ones we put it in with. You guys watched me do it. It was exciting. Woohoo. Now, I am finding that some of the build is easier with two people. You can do this with one person, I promise. But this is easier with two people. Uh, when taking this out, be real careful you don't accidentally nick your card, your graphics card, or your motherboard. Alright, we are free and clear. There we go. Um, that's okay, that was just a fan. So now you do have to deal with the tubes here. Alright, so now we're going to start unscrewing this from the processor. Remembering to evenly unscrew it from side to side, um, just because it's held on with spring tension. Not my favorite installation of a cooler, for sure. Uh, on the back of this, there is a back plate that you have to be mindful of, so that when you finish getting it, both pieces are actually going to pop out. This might actually go rocketing. We'll see. We'll see here. I'm going to hold this. One screw is free. One screw free. All right. I think that was two. And we'll see how Three. stuck this on this is by thermal paste. I'm actually not sure. Four. All right. should pop right off. Nope. Bottom screw is still stuck. Bottom right, bottom left. Bottom this side. There we go. All right. Look at all that beautiful thermal paste. Should Can be able to help me put this down without. All right. There we go. Should be able to move thermal paste with just soft cloth and at most alcohol. If you wouldn't want to put any water near this. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back as soon as we get the cleaning supplies for that. All right. We're back. So, we're going to start by just using a paper towel to wipe the excess thermal paste off, being very careful not to get it uh, into or around the... And you can see we're slowly, just very carefully, slowly removing it. Um, while we're doing this, we are you are grounded. Always ground yourself to the case when working with the processor, the motherboard, etc., etc. So... Just get in there a little bit. You can see nice and shiny clean. I'm gonna take a secondary one in there just to... There we go. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so now we are going to get the other cooler in. So hold tight. Okay. Here we go. 
So we have this um, AMD. Uh, it's this. It's an AMD Intel cooler. This is the Gamer Storm double radiator cooler that we're using. A uh, little confusing, but here I'm going to show you the overview of the instruction booklet. Cool. All right, so not too bad. We are going to put together the back plate, which is this star shaped guy right here. On one side it says an AMD, on the other it says Intel. Uh, because we have an AMD build, we are going to be using the AMD side. We are going to put the first step is to put the little rubber feedies on. That's a screw. Goes through there. Pardon my clumsiness. No, it's okay. This whole series has been clumsiness. <laughs> That's my favorite part, right guys? <laughs> oh, these screws have a notch in them. Oh, nice and easy. So this is this is why I'm doing this, is because anybody can just go, oh hey look, here's a thing. I want you guys to see the dropping of screws and the, the just no, it's not quite so easy. So it just twists and then notches like that. Well, the notch only goes one direction. If you see right here, the round hole has a notch in it. Uh -huh. And this screw has a dimple, Ed. Only goes in one way, is the point. And once the screw is in, we put one of the little feeties over it. And this becomes the back plate. Cool. That one doesn't want to get in there. <laughs> There you go. All right, now we're gonna put this on the back. All right, here we are behind the motherboard. We have the back plate. Put it right on there. Ta -da! Easy, easy to. So you can see how this back plate here, all the screws are in. Now the next step is to put these little rubber. I imagine they are for just the spacers, is my guess. Either that or sound. Probably spacers though. They, so we're just going to slide that right over one of the screws, uh, all four of the screws. And there you go, there's one. I'm being annoying at you. You're not annoying me. <laughs> I'm not your viewer. <laughs> I'm, making, I'm making airplane sounds to bother him. There you go. <laughs> the camera is in the way. <laughs> All right, all four little standoffs done. So the next step here, blinded by the light, is we are going to be screwing on these little tiny plates, which are these. Yes. They're going to actually screw onto this. You'll notice I have actually taped the plastic cover over this. I didn't want to accidentally mess up the thermal paste that's pre-applied to the block. So we're going to undo that. We're going to screw on the uh, plates there. Yeah, that hose makes this a little difficult, actually. Um, Surprisingly, it's, they're stiff. Swapping wrists. Oh, yeah, he's also swapping. Nah. I found myself doing that quite a bit. The hoses can make this a little difficult because they're a little stiff. They look like they should be fun and flexible, but they're not. So it looks like we go. angle away. You need little screws. Yep. Uh, it's important when you're doing this that if you can tell, you see there's a, uh, it changes angle. There's a slope here. You want to make sure that the support is going away from the cooler, not towards it. It won't mount right if you do it the other way. So, hold on, let's get the small screws first. <coughs> um, is this supposed to be? Is it this, one? <laughs> this one? Ah, the challenges of working with a square. I imagine it's whichever way. So your hoses are going to come off of this in a direction. Oh, so they, pick they your. Actually, come, it comes back like this. Oh, oh, see, there's a lip. Yep. Here, under here. Boop, boop, boop. 
that goes behind this. And the screw will come up. Yep. So we need the tiny screws. By the way, yes, baggies and baggies upon baggies of screws and other parts for reasons. <laughs> We're going to get those out. Found the little screws. Found them. So he's going to thread those first. These might be the wrong screws. Uh, Maybe these are the wrong screws. We got the wrong ones. Found the screws. Good luck. Um, we're finding that they did kind of just throw all the little screws in kind of the Intel bag with a few auxiliary parts in the AMD bag. All right, so you can see how we're mounting that on the outside, the exterior of the um, cooler there. So you can see, in truth, you could fit that on either side, but it goes on the, the top there. Uh, you're going to have problems with the tubes. <laughs> oh yeah, the tubes make this difficult. <laughs> They're very small screws that we're working with. I wish they hadn't pre-applied the thermo paste, then I could actually hold this appropriately. It is what it is. You're actually not supposed to touch the copper block. I'm not touching the copper block. Well, I mean, just in general. When my other, the other one that I installed did not have thermo paste pre-applied, but it did tell you, it advised against touching the copper block because oils from your fingers could cause problems. So, just, you know, woohoo. Get that right. second one on there. Yep, I need screws again. Computer. All right, there we go. So, part of the reason I've got him doing this, we've already determined that I am the worst person to screw anything in. I cross-thread everything. It's not even funny. You know, just as you said that, I dropped the screw. Would be fun otherwise. Hmm. At least you're not cross threading them left and right, right? Yes. We've got enough experience with screwing not to cross the streams. I mean, threads. Was that a Ghostbusters reference? Yes. This is the Christmas episode. Come on. Are you kidding? Bill Murray loves Christmas. Point. He was in a fair number of Christmas specials. I think Scrooge is one of his most popular Christmas ones. Scrooge and Groundhog Day. Was Groundhog Day Christmas? No, it was Groundhog Day. But it's beside the point. I was going to say, we're, we're talking about Christmas here, man. So you can see here the hoses are, are making it a little difficult to work with over there. With this particular model, you do have to be careful. Um, this here is actually a glass tube. Uh, it's for show, really. But it, it is glass, so. It's an, it's not partially an expansion reservoir and partially an indicator. If you ever look in your computer and you see this thing is empty, that's probably why it's crashing. Ooh. All right, now the fun part, boys and girls. Let's get this in the computer. Now, we're trying to figure out how best to orient the radiator here. Oh boy. Got to switch around the bracelet again. I'm just taking it off at this point. Uh, everything I'm touching is insulated. Okay. So we are going to put the radiator up. Oh, that's not going to work. You're crossing the graphics card. See how the hoses there are? Coming across the graphics card, so flip it around. There you go, 180. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to go over that graphics card, uh, those uh, memory memory modules, not graphics cards. Memory mods. Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, that should work. Now this is where I had some problems and had to have 
the second hand. Thumb screws are here. Well, this back plate stays in place nicely. The other one would just like pop out. It's yeah, like, nanny. This one's popping out too. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, try putting the radiator like oop, down. Down? Yeah, just put it down. Put it in front of the computer there. <laughs> or up for your choice. I put it down. Okay. I'll hold this. Oop, careful. Just need to get all these thumb screws started and then we can actually put it on. There we go. This is where it's nice to have a friend. I'm holding this up so we're not putting any pressure on the plate. Um while you're doing this, do you remember to tighten screws, um, I believe the best way to put it is in an X form so that you put pressure evenly down on each side of the processor. It is possible to bend processor pins while it's in there. So, good thing you remember. Now, when you're doing this, do not over tighten. They call it hand tighten, right? Yes. When you just tighten enough that the screwdriver is, you'll turn it enough that the screwdriver is uh, firm. You'll feel resistance. Yeah, that. But if you find yourself going Bruce Banner on your liquid cooler, you're probably going to break your processor. Or your motherboard. Either way. It's a bad day for all. All right. Look a mighty spiffy. You good? I'm just checking all those by hand there. Careful. We're good. All right. All right. Now we got to get this on the top. Now, usually the fan goes on top of the radiator, which goes um, on top of the thing. But this particular case is a little funky where the metal case actually goes between the radiator and the fan. We do have some specially long screws so that we can get that in there and we're gonna get those out and get started. All right, here we go. We are fixing this radiator to the top here. This little screw that he's cross-threading. I'm not cross-threading. Yes, you are, it's at an angle. Um, we are using the flat kind of a wide screw. This is actually not how this is designed to work, but we're kind of having to improvise a little bit. You'll find that even if you are doing this exactly as designed, using two of these screws to hold it in place while you feed the long screws through the fans will make your life immensely easier. And these fans will stay on with two or three of the screw of the longer screws installed. So how do you get these screws out from underneath? You won't. Exactly. All right. Now for the fun part, which is lining up the fans. These are the fans we're using. It's important to note which way the airflow goes. Um, we've been over computer airflow. Airflow comes in from the front and the bottom, goes out through the top and the back. Always remember cool air up and over the graphics card and then out. Um, so it is important. Most fans have a notation on them as to which way is up and down, but these ones don't. They do. Oh, do they? Where you is it? Just need to find them. Oh, all the fans okay. should have it. I don't know if the camera can even pick it up. You'll see two arrows. One points from this direction to this direction. The other points that direction. The one that goes from top to bottom, that shows direction of airflow. The one that goes... Oh, still. I got it. The one that goes horizontal, that shows the direction of the fan's rotation. 
Now, pulling air from the top of your fan into your computer is begging to coat your internals with dust. So Hooray. you always want to pull air up from the inside of the computer. Yep. All right. So we are going to line these up. Can we turn it so that this is not going to be doing funky fun things? Yes, you can. There we go. Okay. You always be mindful of where your wires are. Because the fan is a square, pretty easy to do. Actually, wait a minute. What's up? Can you turn it so that this wire is there? Sure. Because we got another fan to put next to that. <laughs> ah. now we will be using two long screws per fan. You lose nothing by doing this. These screws are not holding. Don't do that. That was the side you put the screw in, wasn't it? No. Oh. oh. Ha! Dyslexia! For the win! Yeah. Uh, event at some point we'll replace it when we get long enough screws for the other ones, but this won't hurt anything. Uh, this is kind of a cheap fix, maybe. But meh. No, uh, it's these. This, this these case screws... is special. These screws aren't holding up any weight. Well, yeah, they are. They're holding up the radiator. And you think a radiator weighs very much? Mm. <laughs> well, it weighs more than any. <laughs> Smart ass. And what? Hey! Child appropriate! Because, you know, children need to learn how to build computers. Right? I'd love to see a child <laughs> with this budget. Uh, fair enough. No, on second thought, no, I wouldn't. I'd be jealous. <laughs> All right, you can see we've got these two lined up together. Oh, I hope I didn't lead you wrong. Eh, I'll make it work. There is a little bit of jerry-rigging in every uh, every build here. Those wrong ones? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. We have some weird screws. <clears throat> Um, do remember this case is a little bit of a special snowflake. Usually these come with a proper length screw um, with them already, but because this needs this metal piece in between the fan and the radiator, um, yeah, it's a special snowflake. So we did have to get longer screws, and there were only a couple of them with this build. that in there? Not as well as I would like. Uh -oh. Started rounding it out. Cross threading. Oh, rounding. Even better. For those of you who don't know, to round a screw is when you put the screwdriver in the top, and especially with Phillip heads, it's easy to do. You turn that little star pattern into a circle in which the screwdriver is no longer any use. They're fun to get in, and they're even worse to get back out. So, do be careful you don't accidentally round your screws. There we go. Nope. No! I'm getting some resistance. It makes no sense on this one. Okay. And now it's stuck. So, okay. Is it lined up proper? I don't think that one's long enough. No. So nope, that one's not long enough. Right. I um, only had I only had four of the long screws. Where's where's that clear fan? Um. Oh, I've got it over here. Where are the screws that came with this clear fan? They were in the clear fan. That's not helpful. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, found it. Trying a different screw. Success. Is that on there? So, All right. Here we go. Yeah. It is neatly attached. Look at that. We actually have a, a couple more of these. Oh, cool. Look at that. We got some extras. We had to steal from other parts of the computer. But meh. They didn't need it. It's like a I, Ikea furniture. There's always spare parts. That. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. Cool. That's always good. You know, the more parts, points of points of contact, the better. The quieter it, will, quieter it will run. There we go. And then you can see we have our wire cable management over there. And then I have this nifty little device here, which is just, it's a little fan attachment, um, that will plug into, I guess, the master CPU control. Yep. Why not? 
If it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know and we'll move it. <laughs> or the fans will catch on fire. Eh. Improbable. Improbable. Okay. I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so we have got the radiator in. Attached. Fans attached. Um, and you can see we're going to start doing all the plugging in. Uh, so that will be the next video is when we finally plug all the things in. You can see... Um, yeah, we'll get everything plugged in. We'll get all the fans plugged in, all the hard drives. It'll be an exciting time. So thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have been awesome, and we'll see you next time. Laters.